You wanna tell you what this is? I found the smaller Razor Kasumi. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Y'all know my favorite company, my favorite levelist group is back. One of the best that is taking the FGC by storm. Hot Tay is coming in hot. They're coming in fire, outstanding. Okay, and today we have Hot Tay's M16 to unbox and review. So if y'all enjoyed these levelless reviews and reactions, make sure y'all hit the like button and also subscribe up. This is a new Hot Tay 42 pad, Hot Tay M16. Its dimensions are 24 by 166 by 13 millimeters or 13.5 millimeters. It's 720 grams if you care about the weight. And it includes a M16, a USB cable, instruction manual, and accessories package. I gotta be real, this might outcook the Razer Kasune. Um, this might be the best leverless of all time. I'm not gonna lie. This right here. So this is the Razer Kasune. This is the M16. It's kind of like almost identical in some way or form. This is way smaller. This one's heavier than this one. You can you you can hurt somebody with this. <laughs> so he said, if someone at the local getting a bit too rowdy, you box me like Nana B. <laughs> Black Flash. <laughs> so number one, best thing about this one, see how the bottom side is? It has this like little see-through part, which is probably gonna glow up when I plug it in. Now, the W thing here compared to every other leverless, you have an L3 and R3 button. See this button right here? This is an extra button, this is an extra button, this is an extra, this extra button over here. There's, hold on, wait a minute. There's two extra buttons, I didn't even notice this. So how much does this piece of flat bread cost? This, oh, I'm sorry, this one is, if you get it on AliExpress, it's usually $94. Considering how much like, the Razer Kasune, the Vitrix Pro, they cost like three hundo. This is way more affordable. They gave you an additional switch as well. Another cable. A good cable USB-C is these top row of buttons don't have labels on them to tell me what they do. And that's my big frustration. But once you play with it enough, and if you know the user manual, you know that what it does and what they tell you what they do. So, so this first button starting from the left, turbo. This is this is a uh, LS left stick, right stick. The middle is neutral, and the last three is home, back, and start. So I can tell you everything it works on. So the Hot Tape 42 M16 compatibility works on X input, Windows and Steam, Switch mode, which is really good. I'm gonna try it out for Smash. That's gonna be pretty cool. I wanna try it for Smash, I really do. Um, PS3D input and PS4 mode. Compatibility with PS4 and PS5 games. And if you turn, when you plug it in, you have to hit RT. Now it does says the, P the product will disconnect at eight minutes after connecting to the PS4, PS5 console. You can avoid this timeout by uploading the verification files which require for PS4 mode. More details, please check on the official website with www.hotte.com. Oh, the coolest thing about this, if y'all never had a Hotte uh, pad before, you have a screen to see what buttons you're hitting. Now, this is the worst thing about this leverless. I'm sorry, I gotta deduct points here. Um, the bottom of this pisses me off. If you're a person that wear jogging pants to advance or just trying to be comfortable, this shit will slide if you're not constantly moving it like keeping it like keeping it on my lap like on my lap it's already sliding i could actually show y'all i'll give y'all an actual hd look so this is my lap don't mind my setup but see how it's sliding by itself this is annoying so you would probably need to invest in some 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 like little sandpaper stuff like that just wear leather pants you just wear leather pants, like that's just, everybody got leather pants. You're probably wondering, what the hell are these extra two buttons here for? To show y'all in real HD time, the left one, the, the right one is an up button. <gasps> this one? You can emulate the left analog stick in this game. So the, the, the Hate M16, you can switch between the three modes for the D-pad while the controller is in use by pressing one of the following D-pad combinations, back, start, and down equals D-pad. Back plus start and left emulate the left analog stick, and back plus start and right emulates right analog stick. D-pad mode is saved across power cycles. So you have to always change and remember that. That's a thing. Hold on, I gotta try it, I gotta try it. Kingdom Hearts is the one. I gotta try with Kingdom Hearts. So y'all are like, damn, he turned on Kingdom Hearts. I know y'all not here for Kingdom Hearts. I'm just testing out leverless stuff to see if I get the D-pad work. Cause that is crazy that I just got that shit to work. That is so insane. Oh, it does work. It does work. 
No fucking way. Yo, that's crazy. The Hot Take 42 indeed does work on, on PS4 games. And you can make it use the analog stick. So if y'all want to do some crazy challenge runs, y'all want y'all want this to be a sub go beat Kingdom Hearts 3 on this level list, <gasps> you can play the Cydia on this level list. So it's a nerf that turned into a buff for Azusena. I feel that I 100% feel you on that because hey 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 a dragon off first thing in the morning and my damage mighty ruler super Uh huh. Superman. I didn't do the right move. I hit one. I didn't do Superman. He says, so now we'll be trolling with Azul. Say, I'm gonna grab him. He just got some mighty ruler, too. You could tell who. WG. He better, he better grab me. <laughs> he thought I was doing. You did, I ain't gonna sugarcoat it out here. No, I don't care if you nerf it. My elbow still hits to the gods. Oh, not that one. Okay, combo video. Okay, combo video. No. What type of hit grabs he got, bro? I'm trying to get him to the wall, but I could have just. Grab him. Got him. I ain't gonna sugarcoat. He thought I was gonna do the running three, two. That's what happens when you scared of that move. Just cause you nerfed the move. One thing this thing sucks in, I gotta fight a fucking king. It doesn't have a home button. So I'm letting y'all know right now, if that deters you, that's what it's gonna be. My final verdict on a Hate M16 is that this is probably an elite levelless controller. Probably one of the best on the market and being the most affordable. Me personally, I just enjoy bigger levelless, bigger controllers overall. My dream levelless is a Quamba Obsidian Leverless. But regardless of that, I think that's the only fault I don't like about this one. And the sliding is annoying if you go to tournaments and even at home, if I'm moving around a lot or getting hype, it could slide off my lap. I'm giving this a solid 9 out of 10. Those are just gripes, and it doesn't deter me from using this, and I highly recommend everybody checking out Hate 42's M16 M series. Savitar Yaya, you guys are golden, and that is raw. Squala, peace, and I'm out. Subscribe, like button, and make sure you follow your boy on Twitch. We gone for real. He.